Greetings, welcome to Steve's workbench here in Australia. It's West Green Station and I'm Station Master Siva Subramaniam. Thank you for watching. Oh great, I jest, Steve. But I am in Australia and I want to tell you, it's the, uh, what day is it today? It's the 29th, 29th? Yeah, Saturday the 29th, December 2018. Do you think it's cold outside? Do you think it's wet and raining? No, I'll tell you, it's flaming 41 degrees outside. I kid you not. It's so hot, I have to put these locos in the fridge to stop the white metal solder from melting. <laughs> Here's my little, uh, some of my uh, loco stud. This is the first loco I built. This was in 2003. This was a uh, four track J6. Uh, it's a Hornsey engine. It's got a um, Machine 1833 and a worm drive. I don't particularly like the motor, I'm going to get rid of it. It's the only one I've got uh, with a, it's a machine. I've got a, um, I, I like all these Maxon mini boxes and God knows what else. They're really good. So that's the first one I built. The second loco I built, Connoisseur J50 on your gym. A great kit. Even if you don't like L and ER, these are great kits. I think all these kits would be brilliant to build. No problems whatsoever. Hornsey loco, uh, 34B. Second loco. Our oh, third loco is a Meteor L1. Took a lot of sodding around to build that. There's a few issues with it, the frames, things didn't line up. The instructions weren't good and the parts were thrown in a box. You know, I had about six chimneys. Like, what happened? Did you put a lot in there and just think in domes and God knows what else? And hopefully you've got enough anyway. Enough of my whinging. So that was the third one. Then I'll, I thought I'll give old Jim a call. Big Jim. And get myself one of these, an N7. This is a Stratford loco. Jim didn't make them anymore, did he? He, uh, he said these uh, castings were worn out. A bit like me, really. Worn out. So he still doesn't, he, well, apparently he's, he reckons he's going to make them again. So I didn't build this. I got this one off eBay. And uh, it was in LNR black. And I didn't want LNR black. So I stripped it all down. Oh, it also had a Machima in it, 1833. Got rid of that. It's got a mini box in it now. Um, so, that's four. Do you reckon I like Eastern Region stuff? You're having a laugh. Hold on, I've still got more. I'm back. So, my next loco. This is, I built, see these two locos? I built that this year, plus a couple of coaches. <sighs> what else did I do? Two coaches, and this third one up here, an easy build. I've almost built three. So, this is a Warren Shepherd, a Waza Shepherd N2. Uh, this was a pretty good kit. Um, it's probably my best loco build ever, I think. Uh, I'm very proud of it. It's also got a Maxon mini box in it. Uh, DCC ready, chipped and all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, and I had to do all the lining around here, which was a bit difficult. But I sort of, you know, fudged it here and there. And then, oh, that's a King's Cross engine, 34A, top shape. Then I built this. So I only just finished this. And what? Well, well, it's finished, but it's not. This is a DMR J17. Uh, I just put the glazing in this morning. Um, I've got to put a chip in it yet. Uh, ordered some plates. You wouldn't believe this. I got on a lonely planet and I got a uh, smoke box number plate. I've ordered it. Smoke box number plate and the shed plate 30A Stratford. But they don't do Stratford uh, works plates. Got one word to say for that. Bugger. Okay. Now, the one you've all been waiting for. You ready for this? Come on. What is it? What has he got? Ta ta ta! How about that? This is a nice C1. See? 
Why it's called Ace, I have got no idea. I built this in about, I started this in about 2010, and I've just decided today that I've got to face my fears. My psychologist has even said, you've got to finish this, Steve, because it's going to finish you. I told her, I said, listen, I actually thought of getting onto Sydney Harbour Bridge and dropping this off the bridge. But she said, don't do it. Don't do it. So I cleaned it up today and I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it my best shot. And uh, that's what I want to do in 2019. There you go. Now, what did I clean this up with? I've got to tell you, this is a this is a true story. And it goes back to a bit of Indian stuff, right? My goodness gracious me. I've got a mate called Chris Williams. He's a, a very good modeler. And um, you should see his finny duchesses. Oh, God, I love my clock. Anyway, his wife, BJ, she's a Fijian Indian, a Hindu. And Chris tells me what he cleans brass up with is a stuff called pitambari powder, all right? And I said, where'd you get it? And he says, oh, you get it from an Indian grocer's. There wouldn't be any of those in Britain, would there? Well, there's quite a few here, I can tell you. So anyway, I went to an Indian grocer's. And anyway, I asked for this pit... Pitambari powder. What are you talking about? We do not have Pitambari powder. So anyway, my old boss, Sangeeta, she's a Sikh. And I, cause she told me where to get it. So, and anyway, I said, Sangeeta, they don't sell it. Pitambari powder. She said to me, it is not Pitambari, it is Pitambari powder. Do you love my accent? It's true. So <laughs> this is true. Honestly, I kid you not. I went in, this is see. I know it looks like Pitambari, but I said, have you got any Pitambari powder? Put on a bit of an accent, Pitambari powder. And I got it. <laughs> that is an absolute 100% true story. That happened. Anyway, look, I hope you like my video. I hope it's giving you a few laughs. Anyway, so I need the blessing of the Holy Father. Nomine Patria, safe spirit, of spirit of the sanctity. Could I get it finished this year? i just got to find some blighter to paint it for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoy my funny videos as much as I do.